everyone, this is Shadow 3 with another Akron Observed match. This time it's on a map called Kratoria by Con Aberrant. He's currently playing Grekim in the bottom left, and Trillian Eyes is also Grekim in the top right position. So I'll drop this for now. And I am the Observer, which actually happens to have units in this map. Rather unusual setup, but anyway. So the map is set up as a bunch of craters. There's two major craters in the top left and top right and bottom left for the players, and then there's also major craters in the top left and bottom right as an expansion, as well as a bunch of smaller craters throughout the map for resources. As well, there are slingshots set up inside each main base designed to allow the players to teleport all the units out of their base because as it stands they can't walk them out. And there are teleporters over here that allow you to teleport into your opponent's main base, or near your opponent's main base and they're owned by me, the Observer. So I'm purple, in case you're wondering. At this point, Chilean Eyes is going for, looks like, fairly economic strategy, resetting her resource processor to actually go to the Liquid Crystal. And Crown Aberrant isn't actually doing anything for an Intel special. He's just building a bunch of resource processors from Octos. And I don't know if Chilean Eyes is doing anything besides that. It doesn't look like she's actually pro-generated anything yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, so she has pro-generated stuff. She is also making it an economic build. So both players going for an economic build. Although, Killing Eyes is further in the past than Crown Average is with, his, with hers. So I believe she may have a slight advantage. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, her resource processors are coming in sooner. So she's going to have a slight advantage as the resource processors are coming in about... It looks like 30 seconds in the past compared to Crown Average. So at this point, it's going for a fairly, fairly long game, it looks like. It should be a fairly interesting economic match. See how the two Grecan players work together, or work against each other, rather. And at this point, it doesn't look like either player has actually added an Octo to their pro-generation triad. So... Oh no, never mind. Okay, so Crown Aberrant has, but not Trillian Eyes yet. It's rather important because without an Octo in the Triad, you cannot build anything other than Octos, which means you can't build Seppies or Faros or Tech. So it leaves you a bit stuck, but it does mean that you can have a bit more money to build resource monsters early on. So at this point, Crown Aberrant is building up a. And I should note the, that Crown Aberrant is further in the, he's in the present, where Trillian Eyes is about 30 seconds in the past. So when I say they're doing things simultaneously, it is in fact a 30 minute delay. Or 30 second delay. And it looks like Crown Aberrant's actually teleported his... Yeah, he's slingshotted a Seppi out. Looks like he's setting out... He's setting out to... I'm not sure exactly what. Maybe build a mound, I'm guessing. And it looks like he's also sent a Faro out. He might be just sending out Octos, or progenerating Octos from those two, in order to avoid... If his slingshot gets destroyed, he can't get out of his main, and also just to more easily get to an expansion. And it looks like both players are now one, exactly one minute in the past. And it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Ron Average hasn't done anything with that Faro. He is, however, building Octopods. And Trillian Eyes, on the other hand, is also building Octopods. So both going for an offensive build from the economic build. Going, except, looks like Trillian Eyes is going for fewer Seppies. It looks like... Yeah, Ron Average is going for Faros and Octopods, while Trillian Eyes is going for Octos and Octopods. We are. Octo's not close, as well as a Seppi just for area units. So at this point I'd say probably Crown Aberrant has the upper hand, but it depends entirely on when they attack. The Seppi has been used for a reef for Trillian Eyes, though. Crown Aberrant, on the other hand, not building up any tech with his Seppis. At this point, only having his base Arcticus and the Progeneration Triad with the Faros and Octopods. Looks like the Octopods are being sent out probably to the teleporters. Let's see, the Octopods are being sent out, well, in the direction of the teleporters. Well, the Seppi here isn't is progenerating. He should be playing a Faro at some point, I'd imagine, to help progenerate with that Seppi. It's hard to tell. He's changed something in the past now. It's like he is set up. Okay, yeah, the Seppi's still going out. He, not sure exactly what he's doing. Trillian, on the other hand, is going to be expand. Or it looks like you know, she's not expanding. She just got stuck with an Octopod, unfortunately, in one of the craters. Hopefully, she notices that very soon. And so, hear that. Okay, so now, yes, now Crown Aberrant is sending out his Faro with a Seppi, so he will be able to expand in this crater here, getting a ton of Octos into that area and being able to take advantage of it for resources. 
It doesn't look like he's actually gone ahead and attacked, though. It's hard to tell. His octaves are next to the teleporter, but he hasn't used it yet. He hasn't got to that point. I imagine once he gets to that point again, in his own view of time, he will be sending the octopods to attack. While Trillion Eyes, set in the past still, is... or further in the past, seems to be building up a bit more. It looks like she's... Is she correcting the octopod issue that occurred or not? It looks like she is, yeah. It looks like the octopods are being set out in a way that actually allows them to attack. They are attacking directly, however, rather than using the teleporters. It's a rather interesting choice. Perhaps she's not entirely aware of the teleporters. However, it does mean that she does know what is going on with the octopods here. And the teleporter and the lesser that matter. And it looks like... I don't know, is... Well, it looks like Ron Abbott actually isn't setting up an expansion here, unless something hasn't updated. Because as Faro is going back, he must have forgotten to undo the Faro's orders when he sent it out. Bit of a pain, I'm sure. So, at this point, Trillion Eyes looks like she is starting an attack some... Or, no! Here we are. Ron Abbott has gone for the attack. Let's go back to when he actually teleports it. He is going to be going for the attack... See, what was he actually teleport? Oh, I see. He's telling where his octopods from here. So he's teleporting his octopods into Trillion Eyes' base, and he's going to be attacking Trillion Eyes. He's damaging a bunch of. Okay, so there's a bunch of farms that have been regenerated, dealing a fair amount of damage, but the octopods are not surviving very well. The octopods are not probably going to last. They're dealing some damage, but not too much permanent. However, they are actually hitting one of the regenerating farms, so if you can, can get rid of that, then Trillion Eyes is going to be in huge trouble, because without that farm, a bunch of units won't be able to be built if she built any other units with that farm. So yeah, that Faro is gone, or was gone, looks like actually, okay, it looks like, let's revise this. Looks like Crown Iron actually did not end up attacking, ultimately. So at this point, that was just an echo attack. Looks like he is sending his octopus to attack normally, though, or at least to scout out normally. Well, Trillion Eyes also scouts out normally, but it appears to be stuck outside of Crown Iron's base. Go a bit further in the future, and it looks like, yeah, nothing really has changed, so... Trillion Eyes is trying to take control over the top section, while Chrono Aberrant is sending his octopods to deal some damage, but it looks like... Yeah, Trillion Eyes is intercepting the octopods. So, octopods are not going to be able to actually get in, but they look like they're attacking Chrono... No, they're attacking the slingshot, but it's not going to achieve much. Trillion Eyes' forces are coming in, attacking the octopods. The octopods are going to be destroyed. They're not going to last very long. The Cepis, a couple of the Cepis will die. Or no, it's Faro, sorry. Faro's and Seppies will die, but they will be able to hold off the Octopod attack. Although, interestingly enough, Trillion Eyes' Octopod is continuing down. It must have been an old order. At any rate, so the... looks like... At this point, Trillion Eyes is changing something in the past, though. Trillion Eyes is changing it so that... Oh, got a Seppibot. Okay, so a Seppibot as well is helping out destroy this Octopod. The Octopod has been destroyed, so Trillion Eyes has defended her base. Crown Aberrant is going to need to do something else. I don't know exactly what he's doing further in the future. He has got an expansion set up, though, so... Clearly he has been preparing. He's just not going in for an attack, so I don't know if Trillion Eyes is actually planning on doing an attack soon, or what, but it looks like Trillion Eyes does not actually know about this expansion yet. But we'll find out when she does, because when she does, she'll go after it. She has a bunch of forces at the top, and outside of her crater, that is. And she's building up more, she just doesn't have an economy yet. So if she can get this out, she can get rid of this expansion, she can get rid of the economic advantage that Kron Aberrant will have. Because Kron Aberrant will have a fairly large economic advantage if he can get through this. If he can keep this alive. But it's hard to tell because Trillion Eyes does not seem to be aware of it yet. She hasn't really gone for an assault on it yet. Looks like she's just sending some scouting pods out, probably trying to figure out what Kron Aberrant is up to, trying to attack his main base cripple him a bit, but it's not going to actually do much because it looks like his entire production farce, or at least his important production farce, is being focused on this expansion right here. And this expansion is going to be a fairly powerful expansion once it's done. It looks like Trillion Eyes is going to be sending out some forces to attack the main base. Is she changing anything in the past? No, it doesn't look like she's actually doing anything beyond this. So she's simply continuing to build up, continuing to get forces up, and it looks like, hard to tell if she's actually researched anything from it though. Yeah, she's going to be dealing a lot of damage, so... Where's the Faropod attack? So the Faropod 